Good morning, Seoul. I'm Rick Falkvinge and I'm representing Private Internet Access, the lead sponsor, proud lead sponsor of Creative Commons Global Summit. But you may also know me as the founder of the Swedish and First Pirate Party. And I want to reflect a little on the successes of Creative Commons so far. And I want to share a little story with you. Doesn't every great conference start with a, with a funny story? So this was in 2009, and I was at this copyright industry executive insiders seminar. They had really inv invited the wolf straight into the sheep's den, and they didn't know it. And I had this keynote called shelters or windmills, saying that there's a Chinese proverb saying that in times of change, some people build shelters and others, bu others wi build windmills. And I told these copyright industry executives, you need to decide very soon, who do you want to be? Because this, the winds are change are already blowing. And I suggested to them that maybe the very premise of the copyright monopoly, that strong industrial protectionism, strong IP, strong industrial protectionism, it is not necessary to have every piece of culture created. And you might need to relate to that. There was a deafening silence in the entire room. And then somebody stood up to thunderous applause, and in response to my suggestion, they suggested that I should be burnt alive at the stake. And I'm not making this up. You can actually Google for this. Faltering you burnt at the stake, you'll find the conference. This shows something. There is an, there's a legacy industry that cannot cope with change right now. And their primary story is that strong monopolies, strong copyright monopolies, strong IP, strong industrial protectionism is required for anything to get created. And when you're a successful organization like Creative Commons, you may not always see the secondary effects of your success. So I want to tell you about those. Because when I'm debating the copyright industry, their narrative is that nothing would get created if there weren't for these strong protectionist mechanisms. Nothing would get created if it weren't for the strongest copyright monopoly. And I can point at Creative Commons and say, you're wrong. Creative Commons and the success of Creative Commons has demonstrated in terms of evidence-based policy making, that millions of artists are walking an extra mile to have a weaker monopoly. Millions of artists are walking an extra mile to have a weaker monopoly. Your assumption, sir, that a strong monopoly is required is wrong. Their entire narrative falls apart at the policy making level. And I want to emphasize that this is a success of Creative Commons. This story, the countering of this narrative, would not be possible without Creative Commons. I know it's easy when you're in the inside of an organization to just focus on the small tasks of the day-to-day -day work. But the success of Creative Commons is creating a narrative that is changing the world. It is changing the world. So in this conference, Let's celebrate that. Let's celebrate those changes. Let's celebrate a world where sharing is becoming the narrative and the norm. On behalf of the lead sponsor, Private Internet Access, and on behalf of myself, I'm Richard Falkvinge. Welcome to Seoul. Welcome to Creative Commons. And thank you all for changing the world together. In a thousand years, when all our bones have disappeared, and every word has been erased.